Hey you guys, welcome back. So in this week's video, I'm going to be doing a tutorial which has been requested a couple of times over the last month or so, and that's how to make music in the style of Mabel slash Suki and those other Australian artists who make progressive house inspired perhaps a little bit more by kind of faster trancey goer style stuff. And actually, as a nice segue, I've got an EP coming out on The Space Between Us, which is a record label that Mabel released one of her EPs on, Archangel, it's really good, just check it out. And actually, all of the other releases on the record label. It's coming out uh, early September, so go check that out so that you know when the EP is coming out. And if you love the stuff that we put out on the channel and you wanna help support the channel and support me making the videos, then you'd hopefully be able to pick the EP up in September. I think I've plugged that enough. The one other thing would be that I have actually finally got around to sorting on my Instagram as well. I know loads of people have been requesting a place to follow me and maybe get in touch about you know some tutorials or whatever so that's in the description as well as all of the links to the space between us a lot of waffling for me but let's get into the video so here's our midi for this patch we're putting together let's load wavetable and change our first wave to the aeiu wave from the formant subheading moving the oscillator position to 45 percent and the pitch down 12 semitone Next, let's enable the sub oscillator and bring the tone up to 100% with a volume down, minus 10 dB. Now for our final wave, let's use the format subheading again, selecting the VOSM wave set to 58% and brought down 10 decibels. Lovely stuff. Now for our filter, let's bring it down to 480 Hertz and increase our resonance to 75%. Now for our envelopes and LFOs. Let's leave our amp envelope and move on to envelope two which we'll use to control our filter frequency. Let's set our attack to 500 to give our filter a slow sweep up before sustaining at 100% and then decaying at 800 milliseconds. We're going to apply 50% of this to the filter frequency to give us this. As you can hear, we get more of a sweep with the longer notes, so programming in your MIDI will have a big effect on the sound. Now for our LFOs, let's have LFO1 be a random square wave set to 1 8 and LFO2 be a slow sine wave with re-trigger disabled, set to a rate of 8. Now let's apply these to the filter frequency and the two oscillators positions. First, the frequency, which will have 10% of LFO1 and 5% of LFO2. Then oscillator 1's position, which will have 50% of LFO1 and 15% of LFO2. Finally, oscillator 2's position, which will have 20% of LFO1 and 15% of LFO2. And here's the effect this modulation is having without the filter. Now to give the synth a more metallic sound, let's turn to the unison setting and some effects. Let's use the position spread unison setting, which is already having the effect that we want. Next, let's apply the spectral resonator, which as you can hear, sounds a bit rubbish. So let's get it to follow along with our track by turning the mode to MIDI and selecting our wavetable. Next, let's enable poly, bringing it up to 16 and shifting it up 12 decibels with a stretch up to 100%. Finally, let's bring our dry wet down to 20%, giving us some metallic high end whilst retaining our original sound. And finally, let's bring up our reverb and delay. So that's the video. I hope it was useful for everyone who requested it. And also, hopefully, I've introduced some of you who didn't know about some awesome artists and some awesome record labels. As I was saying at the start of the video, feel free to check out The Space Between Us and also follow me on Instagram if you want to keep up with all of my musical endeavours. And as always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.